Hey, what's up guys? So it's time for a little bit of science news. Scientists at Oak Ridge National Laboratory have discovered, sort of by accident, a way to convert carbon dioxide into ethanol. Now converting CO2 into ethanol isn't itself a completely new thing. However, the processes used often rely on expensive and rare materials, such as titanium oxide. These reactions also occur at extreme temperatures, which only adds to the expense. What's unique about this discovery is that it uses a relatively cheap and common catalyst, composed of carbon and copper. The reaction also takes place at room temperature, which is why the team believes that their solution could be scalable into something which is commercially viable. Another important thing to note about the end product ethanol is that it's already widely used as fuel in many countries. So there is already an existing infrastructure should this prove to be a viable way to produce the fuel. The reaction takes place on a spiky nanotextured surface, creating plenty of sites for the reaction. The team described the spikes as lightning rods, which concentrate the electrochemical reactivity. In theory, this process would work in tangent with existing green energy sources, like wind, wave and solar, to balance the sporadic energy production associated with these types of energy. Whether or not this discovery proves to be economically viable at scale remains to be seen. But the possibility of balancing green energy production is certainly an exciting prospect. If you'd like to know a little bit more about their discovery, you can head on over to the lab's website where they give you a much more detailed breakdown of the process. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.